Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to deploy OpenAlgo in Code Spaces. So GitHub Code Spaces is a cloud-based development environment accessible directly in your browser. So no setup is required, just click and code. So if you understand OpenAlgo, OpenAlgo is an open source trading platform where traders can connect their popular trading softwares like AmiBroker, TradingView, Python, Charting, MetaTrader 5, Google Spreadsheet and Excel Sheet. So they can instantly, they can load OpenAlgo in your browser using GitHub code space. That's what we're going to go here. So I'm going to go to uh, OpenAlgo in GitHub. So github.com slash market call slash OpenAlgo. So here, if you go here, so we are in the main branch now. So I'm going to test OpenAlgo. I'm going to go to code. I'm going to go to code spaces. If you see that there are local and uh, code spaces, so go to the code space. Click on the plus icon. So that will be launching the code spaces and it will try to pull up the entire OpenAlgo application. It opens up a uh, simple VS code kind of platform inside the cloud. So that's what on GitHub uh, code space is all about. It gives you a powerful mission. The mission will be like uh, 8 GB RAM or uh, 32 GB kind of RAM. So very powerful missions that you will be getting over here. So open algo you can see that readily it got installed and you can go through the code base so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to copy uh, i'm going to say like cp dot dot env let me also zoom this a little bit so cp uh, i'm going to say like oh, it's compiling everything i haven't even asked for but let's say like i'll go to the bash and then i'll say like cp dot sample i'm going to copy that dot sample dot env i'm going to copy with an dot env name so this will create a new environmental file. So this is an environmental file over here where I have to fill in my broker's API key, API secret and redirect URL. I have it readily available in my local machine. So this is the one I'm gonna keep it. So I'm just gonna copy the broker API key, API secret and redirect URL. I'll go here and then I'll, I'm gonna replace the values over here. Now once I replaced it, so the basic configuration has been set now we're gonna go and install the python libraries so i'm just gonna simply type pip install hyphen r requirements right so requirement dot text and enter this will be installing uh, all the python dependencies required for open algo to work and once the installation is done the next thing is like go and start open algo and start using open algo so let's see how it's gonna happen if you understand OpenAlgo, OpenAlgo is more of a Flask based web application. It's kind of a complete uh, OpenAlgo uh, is a complete automation platform. It's kind of a full stack automation platform, highly capable of connecting with various popular trading platforms like AmiBroker, MetaTrader, TradingView kind of stuff. And very recently, we're going to launch Charting in our upcoming launch. So once the installation is done, I think it will be taking like a minimum of like uh, 30 seconds anywhere to all run all the installation. So once all the installation is done, we're going to straight away go and launch the open algo. So it's, it's been installing all the uh, available libraries from uh, requirement.txt. So we have this requirement.txt here. All the libraries are available inside so all these libraries are getting installed by now so once the installation is done next we're gonna go to python app.py enter that will be launching the open algo platform so you can go and test open algo in your browser without spending any money on the cloud right so if in case you want to give a demo to your friends or to your family or to your colleague then op github code space is a very good environment that you can deploy not only open algo any open source application you can deploy it in the cloud so as you remember flask usually runs on the port 5000 so when i click on open in browser it will be doing something called port forwarding and that launches open algo in a separate cloud domain it, it also creates a dynamic name called super space halibu like it just gives a dramatic name there and you can see that open algo is now running in the cloud now I can go and log in when I log in for the very first time, it will be asking me to set up an account. So I'm going to set up an account over here. And this account is accessible only by you. Nobody else can access this. And let me try to give an email and let me type my password here. 
and once the first time registration if you remember first time register user is the admin user right now open algo supports only one login one admin login nothing else so it redirects to an uh, setup totp authentication and uh, if in case if you think you may forgot password you can always take an uh, google totp so you can use a google authenticator scan it and anytime you want to reset the password you can in input the totp this is optional if you believe you don't need that you can just continue to log in and i'm going to enter my login credentials over here now once i done with the basic login credentials uh, it will be redirecting to the broker login page automatically detects the broker broker login page over here i'm going to click on connect account and then i'm going to enter my credentials the broker credentials now once i done with the broker credentials i'm also going to enter my totp so i'm going to use my authenticator and then i'm going to use my totp so what github code space will be providing you is a secure environment to test your application so let me connect it mostly it's it's kind of an uh, uh, traders and developers can go and test it out so now you can see that open algo right now it is available in the cloud you can also switch open algo between live mode and the analyze mode and uh, yeah so uh, upcoming features there'll be no more new features are incoming so this way you can easily test to open algo connect your broker test your broking account and uh, in fact you can even uh, do automated trading testing as well from trading view very easily not only just trading view but charting also very soon probably from next week onwards we're going to launch charting testing is in progress so hopefully we will be coming up with more interesting uh, features so next week it's all about raining features uh, so stay tuned with more interesting content see you in uh, another video thank you